elke mens het een doel om op te staan. En as jy nie een doel het om vandag op te staan nie, hoekom staan jy op? Want die dag is vir jou geleen. En uh, elke ochtend, as ek het woorde wil wakker word, het ek een doel om op te staan. En my doel is, hierdie passie is, hierdie, is hierdie pere wat hier by my staan, is die peert wat my hand vat en nie dat wil buit nie. So, uh, elke mens wat waar jy ook al bly, as jy nie een doel het en een passie het waarvoor jy gaan opstaan, hoekom staan jy op? Hoekom lewe jy? So, dit is maar my, my doel in die lewe. En as jy talent het en jy steek het weg, jy gebruik dit nie, dan spoil jy life en jy spoil jou lewe. As jy in poorde wil inry, jy vraag wie sê, kan jy sê Piet, dan gaan niemand weet nie, maar as jy sê Piet Peer, dan gaat hulle dadelijk weet. When you hit those blue grams, your heart just, you look down that road and you see from one side to the other, and it just, it, it, it's home. It takes you in, those blue gums take you in and just, I feel like I've been encompassed in, in this place. I'm Monique Minaba and I'm in Portable. As I have a pair of cars in, or if I have my coats in, or if I have my ponies in my oven car in, or if I have my mail in, or if I have my pair of my leer, as I have my happy, as I have the happiest people in the world. Portable is a, is a very unique dorp. Uh, it is a prachtige omgeving om in te bly. Uh, is a klein, rechte, swartlandse dorpie. Uh, die boerderij recht rondom ons is meestal koringboere en dan ook baie vruchteboere uitvoer drijven by Halfmans Hof en uh, steenvruchte boe op, op, op die berg en uh, a uh, klein beetje a few vertakking met skapen en beeste. A big chunk of wood really only starts re revealing its secrets when one spends some time with it. You've got to spend time with it, you've got to cut into it, you've got to give it a lot of respect and, and then all sorts of interesting secrets start being revealed. And one needs to, to spend a bit of time with small time. My name is Paul Christopher, we're in my wood turning studio in Portable. I knew immediately, within 10 seconds of holding a, a chisel to a piece of spinning wood, that this is what I want to do with the rest of my life. It's an incredibly meditative craft. This is a craft that, that's been around for a long, long time and is enjoying a bit of a resurgence. It's being used to create more contemporary pieces of design. I've developed a... a, a, a a practice where I work entirely with green wood, as wet as possible, as freshly filled as possible, for various reasons. One of which is I can, by managing the drying process, create all sorts of interesting forms that one, one doesn't get with dried, cured wood. As, as the, the vessels dry, they twist and change their shape and, and settle in a, in a form that the wood wants to be in. So that's, that's what I do. I work with green, wet, freshly filled wood mostly oaks, um, the various species of oak, and I, and I create sculptural vessels and bowls that, that sell through, through gallery spaces and, and high-end design consultants. What did I begin? 40 years ago. I wanted to study kunstenaar, I wanted to study art, but my dad said I was not a hippie, so I can not. So I studied landbouw. En dit het nie uitgewerkt, wel, dit het uitgewerkt, maar ek het altyd kuns, kuns, kuns. En ek het net begin met patrieklasse en ek het net nooit weer opgehou nie. En nou is al na projects en ek is in portable. Om met klei te werk, denk ek, um, jy raak ontsla van, van um, stress, um, jy, jy maak jou eie persoonlijke item wat jy voor jou oor sien en dit kan mooi wees vir jou, dit kan mooi wees vir ander mense, maar jy vergeet van wat om jou aangaan en jy geniet om net met die klei te werk. Want op die einde van die dag om met klei te werk en klei te speel, gaan jy terug na jou kinderlewe toe. 
Und sie auch mal mit gleichem Bild und uns klein was. What drew us to Portable was, I think, the stillness, the, the quietness, the being out of the freneticness of the city, being a nature person, nature is right on, on the doorstep. Within five minutes, you're out of town, below the mountain, the stars, the sunsets. My name is Katya and I'm in Portable. I'm a visual artist and I, I work in various mediums, um, ceramic and I work with fabric and I also do, will play around a bit with, um, with collage and painting. I would have to say what inspires my art is the dream world. Um, it's when I start, when I walk into my studio, I, I don't ever really have a very clear image of what I'm going to do. I just pick up the material and I start to work and something emerges, something that I, um, I might have had a glimmer of what it might be, but it's what emerges is never what, what I imagined. It's, it's, um, it feels like images from the unconscious, from the dream world, um, filter through into what I do. Wie was the wonderlijkste is van portable for mense? A so kostbaar, dis a legkaart. Elk een, het sy vormpie wat in die ander een inpas. En in die einde is het hier die prachtige, uh, kostbare, kunstig, soos een mozaïek of een legkaart. My name is Christel Griffiths and I am in Portable, the Toy Straat 55, by the Mosaic Guys. I had begin with pottery and my man had for me said, no, Christel, do liever iets for ourselves. And as uh, I began with the Mosaic, with the pottery, and as I didn't want to get out and I was totally in all the of the Mosaic. Elke vertrek het sy story, um, wat eindelijk half soos een emotionele band en ook vry, my vry gemaakt het van emotionele goed wat jy saam met jou sleep, um, want dit is amper soos een meditatie. Die mens het die eers my haak gesien nie, die man het gewiet nie. My eerste werk het hulle maar net aan die swaats net so gekyk en niks gesê nie. Maar toe hulle nou met my nou toe hier meer toe toe begin te praat met my. Toe sien hulle vir my raak. Toe sê hulle, hulle het die gewiet ek kan sikke mooi weer doen. He. En toe begin nou, uh, het ek hy sê hy vertrouw in my werk. En, en die wat my gejelp het tot nou nog toe. My naam is Hester, ek bly in Portewel. Ons, ons vertel die, die history van Portewel. Nou moes hy hier koos het. Hoe op de meer is het er in sikke so 300 stukjes, want ek knip het, ek knip het baie fijn. Ek vat om een meer, drie daar, dan maak ek een meer kala. Small towns have a sense of community and people wave at you. You know your neighbors. I really, I love that sense of community. I think it's a great place to retire to, but I think it's an even better place to bring up kids. If I could have gone back and done this 20 years ago when my children were younger, I would have, I would definitely have come and brought my children up here. Ach, dit is, ons het natuurlijk februari maand, is het verschrikkelijk warm. So as jy februari maand poort wil te kom, dan ga jy dadelijk weg hard uh, Maar as jy aircon het, in jou kamer, dan kan jy elke na goed slaap. En as die zon een paar somers vir jou gebrand het, dan gaan jy nergens, nergens. Jy sal net die wil blij. I would say if you thinking of moving to a small town, go for it. It's the best move we've ever made. We're happier here. Our lives feel fuller and richer. We enjoy the sense of community, the stillness in the evenings and the weekends. Um, I'd recommend it. Do it. So when you come to Portable, you're not just coming to Portable, you're coming to a whole area. The Bergrafia is, or Portable is part of the Bergrafia area, which is made up of a whole lot of small towns that all have the same sense of community, inclusiveness and camaraderie. 
So you start with us in Portable at 22 waterfalls and the biographia leads you all the way down to Feltrift.